Hey, what is going on, Indianapolis? I'm Tolan. I am Big Ben. We are the Do It Indie Guys. Welcome to this week's top five urban events going on for the week of May 29th through June 3rd, 2012. As you can see, we're outside. Summer is here, Indy. Outside of Do It Indie Studios. You got it. And decided to come out. There's something big (laughs) that we want to tell you guys about up front. We have started Do It Indie Kids starting June 5th Mm -hmm. on Fox 59. We'll be on there every week at 8.15 a.m. giving you the top three things to do for you and your kids around the city of Indianapolis. Not just downtown, all over the surrounding areas too. So, Go families. Yeah, go families. You can like us it. on Facebook. We've got a Do It Indie Kids page on Facebook and on Twitter mm-hmm. and Google Plus too. So, More updates coming. Yeah, with that said, let's go ahead and get into this week's top five urban events. What's number five, Ben? All right, number five, somebody that uh, is a fellow Raven with us. This Saturday, June 2nd, Sarah Scarborough is going to be at the Jazz Kitchen. All right, Sarah Scarborough, she's kind of an eclectic, poppy, jazzy, Jazzy. very musically inclined uh, individual. She has some great music, and she has uh, performed with many, many artists that are well-known across the country. Also with Sarah will be uh, the band Blue Dorian, and tickets for this are $15, and there will be two shows at 8 p.m. and 10 p.m. this Saturday at the Jazz Kitchen. For more information, www.thejazzkitchen.com. You can also find them on Facebook and Twitter. Number four. Number four, we've got the Little Flower Parish Summer Fest. This is a carnival, mm. you know, going on on the east side. It's just south of 70, got it. east, and, uh, you know, just west of Emerson Avenue. So, on the near east side. Uh, for, for more information, I'll give you the website later on how to get there. But this takes place Friday, June 1st through Sunday, June 3rd. It's going to be food, fun, carnival rides, you know, bingo. It wouldn't be a Catholic event without bingo, of course. So <laughs> it is a free event to get into, but of course you'll have to bring money for all the rides and all the food and all that. So for more information on where this place is and what there is to do there, uh, go to www.littleflowerparish.org. So that's number four. What's number three, Ben? All right, number three, hey, this Friday, it's First Friday. Yes. All right, this First Friday, we are going to feature M10 Studios. This is a photography studio by a very cool dude named Paul DeAndrea, and uh, some of his works are absolutely amazing. Now, First Friday, for those of you that don't know what that is, that is a every First Friday of each month. You can go and visit uh, local art galleries that are around downtown Indianapolis, Broad Ripple area, north side, south side. City uh, The entire city gets into uh, the art. So, hey, pick your favorite cultural district. M10 Studios is actually located downtown off of Mass Ave, so uh, check that out. For more information, about uh, Paul DeAndrea, First Friday, and uh, M10 Studios, go to www.pdaphotography.com, and you can also find him on Twitter. So there you go, First Friday. Number two. Number two, we've got Vintage Indiana. This is a wine festival going on this weekend Mm -hmm. down at Military Park. It's always a great time. Takes place Saturday, June 2nd (laughs) from 11 to 7 p.m. at Military Park. Like I said, 26 Indiana different wineries are going to be there and also 14 local restaurants will be there too showcasing their food. So uh, it's going to be a good time. $22 in advance, $25 at the door. The first 10,000 people get a Wine glass. Etched wine glass. Yeah, I have mine from last year. They awesome. do that every year, so mm-hmm. I think pretty much everybody gets it, but uh, they say the first 10,000. So Get there early, yeah. Andy. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And there is a designated driver's ticket, too, for $10, and what's that include, Ben? Oh, man, all you can drink soft drinks, not like a <laughs> Coke and a smile. <laughs> for more information about this event, go to www.vintageindiana.com. They're also on Facebook and Twitter, too, so that's number two always brings us into number one which is always number a big one. one always all right always. Always. always okay hey number one the annual woodruff place flea market okay woodruff place used to actually be a town within indianapolis 
It is located right outside of downtown in between Michigan Streets and 10th Street and it's a series of three different very beautiful historic uh, streets that have uh, what you call it fountains and big statuesque statues and lions and tigers and very bears. very unique neighborhood mm -hmm. it's very cool uh, lots of history lots of people so hey the flea market what this is Woodruff Place brings in some awesome food vendors some of the best fair food and then you go around and everybody just has a huge huge I guess type of garage sale flea yeah. market type of atmosphere but it's always it always is so much more than that uh, people it's almost like a party atmosphere people celebrating the city well, it, it, place. people celebrating the neighborhood too I mean Absolutely. it's a, such a beautiful neighborhood and uh, you wouldn't think it was in the city you wouldn't think of where it's out yeah. where it's at <laughs> until you get there <laughs> hey for more information about this go to www.woodruffplace.com Org, and you can also find the Woodruff Place Flea Market with a brand new, as of this morning, Facebook page <laughs> I saw. So hey, Saturday 8 to 5, Sunday 10 to 5, check it out. One of my favorite places to get an elephant ear. Woohoo! Woo! And as always, you can check us out on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Do It Indie, all one word. And at doitindy.com. And hey, thanks a lot, Indianapolis. Remember, next Tuesday, Do It Indie Kids is starting. So as always, stay urban. And until next week, get out and do it indie. Do it indie.